it's Jeff. Just want to do a quick update on um, my British lorry for the big rig group build. Uh, it's hosted by Jeff's Model Garage. If you're not familiar with Jeff's website or Jeff's uh, YouTube channel, uh, go check it out. He's got some great stuff on there. I have made some progress on this. As I did with the last build, everything I do, I circle the parts as I take them off and uh, cross them out as they're finished. So I've got the engine together. I don't have it quite finished yet because I've got uh, some more details to do. But um, that's the basic engine right there. I painted it with... Um, the Vallejo gloss black surface primer first and then I painted it with the uh, Vallejo metal color aluminum then I came back and I painted the little tubes and everything with just some more of the uh, gloss primer I am gonna wire this engine up I've already drilled holes in the magneto for the wires and uh, I'll be doing that as soon as I get the uh, the uh, intake and exhaust manifold glued on, so I'm sure of my spacing. Um, intake, exhaust, manifolds are all painted. Here's the uh, intake with the carburetor in aluminum. The intake is in uh, steel. Okay. And the uh, water intake and outlet are copper. So all these were painted with the, the uh, gloss black primer first. Uh, Vallejo recommends that. So those are done. I'll be getting those put on. There's the uh, exhaust manifold painted in steel also. So the engine is pretty much together. Lots of little parts. They do show, have a guide here for putting the spark plug wires on. They've got a little bitty tiny PE part that they're saying to put on the ends of the spark plug wires, but I, I think they're actually oversized. Uh, they, they look really big, you know, when you put them on. I've got 0.3 millimeter wire, and um, just those look like they're way oversized. So I probably won't be using those. I'll just glue the wire directly to the spark plugs. Uh, the clutch, that's all put together. It's right here. So that'll be painted before long. And the transmission, I've got to put the, the rest of the uh, water inlets and stuff on it as soon as I get the spark plug wires in place. Transmission, is here. That's all all ready to go onto the frame. And the frame and the springs. Um, the, the rest of these springs are done. The uh, rear differential is together. And all these little accessory parts here, those are all on, except for this crank I put on, can't put on till the engine's in. But here's my frame. Move this out of the way so you can see a little bit better. So there's the rear differential and the springs. There's the front axle. Here's the uh, steering box. All good to go. This is a lot of little pieces. It all went together really, really well. Vallejo. Mini Art uh, keyed everything differently. So all of these little uh, cross members here, one of them will have a square key, you know, that goes into the frame. One will have an oval key. One will have a diamond-shaped key. So it's pretty tough to, to mess them up. I mean, I, <laughs> you still could. But um, anyway... That's as far as I've gotten so far. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Um, 
I've been working on the G71072. I'll show you that in a, another video soon. But um, there's little bitty, I don't even know if you guys can see that or not. There's little bitty spark plugs. Those were parts I had to add. But that came out really good, I'm, I'm thinking. Okay, guys, well, I've kept you long enough. Um, we have been having lots and lots of forest fires or brush fires around here. Uh, we've had four in the last couple of days, all within about 20 miles of us. So it's extremely smoky here and uh, not a good time to really be outside too much. Anyway, have a great day and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks a lot, guys.